So the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is getting a lot of attention lately, and the latest leaks bring both surprising upgrades and some disappointing news, especially for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. New reports reveal that some S26 and S26 Plus models will ship with the Exynos 2600 chip in certain markets, while fresh leaks also confirm Samsung's RAM situation for the S26 Ultra, and it may not be what fans were hoping for. So let's break down everything leaked so far. The chip differences, RAM details, pricing situation, and how all of this could affect the S26 lineup in the eyes of consumers. According to a new report from Chosun Biz, the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus could ship with the Exynos 2600 chipset in select markets, primarily across Asia, including Samsung's home market of Korea. Sources say Samsung's LSI division has been negotiating with the MX Mobile team to reduce the cost of the Exynos chip by $20 to $30, but this discount will not be passed on to customers. Instead, Samsung reportedly plans to keep the same retail price to increase profit margins, with both Exynos and Snapdragon versions priced similarly. When it comes to the Galaxy S26 Ultra, the chip situation is more complicated. Some leaks hint at possible Exynos variants in certain regions, while others claim it will exclusively run Qualcomm Snapdragon internationally. But no matter which chip arrives, Leaker Ice Universe brings disappointing news. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to stick with the same RAM and storage options as previous models. That means 12 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one terabyte storage, while competitors like the Pixel 10 Pro offer 16 gigabytes, and the OnePlus 15 provides both 12 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes options. The one improvement expected is the use of faster LPDDR5X RAM with speeds of 10.7 gigabits per second, up from 8.5 gigabits per second on the S25 Ultra, offering better performance for tasks like image processing, even though the RAM quantity stays the same. Overall, these leaks paint a challenging picture for the S26 lineup, as consumers may find it harder to justify the same price for models using the Exynos 2600 and an Ultra that still offers only 12 gigabytes of RAM. However, it's still early and Samsung could make changes before launch, so these details should be taken lightly until the official release. Do these leaks make you less excited for Samsung's next flagship lineup, or are you still planning to buy one? Drop your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more S26 updates. Peace out!